Welcome to the Trading with Venus podcast, where we help you establish strong trading habits, generate consistent profits, and create the lifestyle you desire for yourself and your family. Now your host, Raman Gill. Welcome to another episode of Trading with Venus podcast. I'm your host, Raman Gill. Today, I wanted to talk about a topic that has been on my mind for the last little bit. The big why, why do you trade? When I first started trading, the reason I started trading was because I sold my business. I had an IT consulting business, so I sold part of my client list and I moved to a new city. And my husband and I were trying to start a family. And I had a couple of miscarriages and we thought maybe it was because of the stress of the IT consulting job because I was working all the time. When I moved to Toronto, um, I wanted to do something else. However, I didn't want to start another consulting business. So I thought I would start trading. So my why at that point was I wanted to have freedom and the and lifestyle so that I could do things on my own terms so that when we had a baby we could um, I could take that time off I could still trade but I could be there for my kids and freedom was really the main driver behind that and also I'm not a I'm not a good employee I am I think I'm a terrible employee I like working for myself because I don't like taking orders from anybody. I don't like being told what to do. That's another reason I'm having, uh, having my own job or my own business. It's a good fit for me. So trading is one of those careers where you can just do it for yourself. You don't, um, if you have the money to trade, you can just trade your own account and you're, you're free to do it as you choose. So it's a good fit in that sense. However, recently my why has been changing. And the reason for that is my kids are growing up now. I have a six year old and six and a half and five year old. And lately my older one has been saying she wants to become a trader just like mommy. And now that has really made me think. I bought both of them computers because I thought, okay, they'll get comfortable with the computers. I was trying to find them a trading game that they could uh, could start playing and get into this, this area without really any of the stress. However, um, in thinking about that, so every day she wakes up in the morning, I'm usually at my desk and she'll come over and she looks at the charts. I have multiple screens, so it's really easy to do. So she knows candlesticks and stuff like that. And she has really been talking about becoming a trader and she's been asking questions about how do you make money trading? If she sees me not having such a good day, then she will ask about okay, what happened with your trading, uh, what's going on, and she wants to understand these things. Now, all of us want our kids to be like us. They want us to do things uh, that are similar to us and it warms my heart to see that my daughter wants to become a trader. However, it has made me think about what kind of a role model do I want to be for my daughter. Now, I have grown up with friends where their parents were entrepreneurs, especially this one friend that I have, her her dad was a business person. And when you're an entrepreneur, you go through all kinds of ups and downs, and her dad tried everything to be successful. However, he had a really hard time being a successful entrepreneur. And what she took away from this was that she didn't want to be in a business. She didn't never wanted to have a business of her own because she saw that as hardship. She saw that her, her dad was always stressed out. They never had enough money and they had to go through a bunch of hardships because he wanted to create a business for himself. Whereas if he had a job like some of her other friends, my dad included, where they had jobs and the constant stream of money was coming in. So things were a little bit more stable under those environments because my parents always knew what kind of money was coming in and they could budget around that whereas in her family it was more difficult because you never knew what was coming in. So that got me thinking about what kind of a role model do I want to be for my daughter? Do I want to be a trader that's always on a roller coaster? Do I want to be a trader that's stressed out of her mind, who's always uh, pissed off and angry and stressed about the markets, who is uh, just blaming everybody else about what goes on in the trading account, somebody who's not able to contribute uh, to the family expenses? What kind of a trader do I want to be? 
and I consider myself a good trader. I have always uh, worked hard in every endeavor that I've taken on. However, I realize now looking back at it, I have never really committed to anything. I was in, in IT, I was a good IT person, I had, a, I had a good successful career at it, however, I was never the best. My parents wanted me to be a doctor and I just didn't want to study. I never applied myself in order to study and have that commitment to become a doctor. So looking back at it, I have never really, really committed to anything. And now having this thought process where I am looking more inside of uh, for what I want to be, what kind of a person, what kind of a role model that I want to be for my daughters, I realized that this is the time that I take a stand for what I really want to be. So my why has recently shifted. Why do I trade? At first I wanted to trade because I wanted to have that freedom in the lifestyle. I also wanted to make money. I like making money and markets I am passionate about. I, I love trading. I love looking at charts and I liked doing all of those things so I thought that would, that would be a good fit and years later it's still a good fit but now I want to do it because I want to be a good role model for my daughter if my daughter wants to be a trader and of course she can change her mind tomorrow but if she wants to be a trader I want to show her what a successful trader looks like I am a full-time trader however I am not the best trader out there and it is my goal that I will become the best trader in the world so that's what I'm committing myself to what does that look like? It looks like a lot of hard work and a lot of grind. Uh, so you will see a lot of uh, different things uh, coming out from me. You'll see the behind the scenes stuff as well. But my why as to why I trade is because I want to be a good role model for my daughter and I want her to become a successful trader as well if she so chooses and I want to show her what a successful day trader looks like or what a successful trader looks like so that she is able to learn that. The kids don't learn from things we say, they learn from things we do. So I am looking inside of myself and I'm changing my behaviors so that I am a good role model and I am also the best trader in the world because I want her to start thinking about how to push herself to achieve things that she really wants. So that is my why. What is your why? Why do you trade and why do you want to trade? So that's it for now. Hope you guys have a wonderful trading week and I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us today. With much gratitude, your show host, Raman Gill.